am Sandra LeBlanc with the National PTSD Service Association and the practicality of having a dog that's stable is when you bring them to someplace new, they're not barking up a storm, they're not running around crazy. I can open the back of this gate and I haven't given them the say-so that they could move and they want to run. You've seen these Malinois German Shepherds in action. It would be more than fun to just jump out and go running around. So, um, stability on recall, call when you come. The dog comes when you call. <laughs> and also stability in if you told them uh, and taught them, you'll get out of the back of this truck when I tell you you're gonna get out of the bath. Now, I, I call this a truck. In reality, you don't want a dog in the back of your truck. You just don't wanna do it even for somebody who's, yeah, I got it in a cage. It's Florida, there's weather, the wind hurts their eyes. So protect your dog's eyes. You want them to be able to see and hear as they grow older and guarding uh, the stability of their health and their joints. And I see a lot of people do ramps and walk that dog up and down. That's, that's good for an older dog, but for a younger dog who's still able and got, and like Chance, the big dog where she really could, she loves jumping. She can, she's very able, very stable. This is Chance and Allie. We're gonna not move Allie. We're just gonna move one of them right now. Chance come? Nope. Good chance, yes. Yes. Chance up? <laughs> How fun is that command? And you could see how easy it was for her. So that's another uh, reason why agility makes a big difference. It, the dog's not just stable, they love to learn new things, but it helps you wherever you're going. There's a lot of us who drive vehicles where there's a little bit of jump to get into that vehicle. Well, use it as a training opportunity and uh, a bonding opportunity with you and your dog. When you're out and about first thing in the morning, it gives you a chance to also stabilize your understanding. Did the dog hear me? Sometimes when traffic's going on, with my tone of voice, it might be mixed up with that truck. I have to make sure the dog is watching me, pay attention, and it can hear me. So thanks for tuning in this morning. I'm Sandra LaFlamme with the National PTSD Service Association. We appreciate all your support because we're in the business of lifting people up with these dogs fighting the fourth leading cause of death in the United States. I believe it's National PTSD Month. Uh, everything that you want to do to help us lift people up with these dogs, we have a great training facility out at Mayaka Euro Pro Canine. We're going to be filming there live on Tuesday and you're going to get more virtual training every day here at National PTSD and PTSD.org. Have a great day.